This is a small demonstration of the iCar, which was built, showing you how to build an iCar using a custom profile setup uh, without buying the iCar kit. If you see in the scene, there's a pillar here, and there's a the car itself, which has been painted a little bit to show a little bit more detail. If you look at the car, it's currently set at soft cloth. Up here, collision, rigid and soft, is still available. The project is set at physics, of course, for iClone 6. What we're going to do is crash this car into this pillar. It's already preset for animation to drive to it. Then we're going to show you how to control the soft cloth collision to a degree. In other words, you, as you watch the car go forward, you'll see it shimmer and shake. And then when it hits the pole, it'll continue to shimmer and shake. What we want to do is make it look like the car is solid until it hits the pole. So I'm going to go to a camera, which is already preset for it, to follow the car. Now watch the car itself. It's pinned, if you look at the weight map, it's pinned around the windows, the top, and around the sides. And also there's a line here to hold it rigid right across this windshield area. So what we're going to do now is the cloth is set to I believe I set it to satin like that and then <clears throat> we're going to do this in by frame mode so it'll go slower and then we're going to follow the camera's going to follow the car it's going to hit the pole and then we're going to take the timeline and adjust the strike so that the car only shakes and shimmers once it hits the pole not in the interim so I've got it on satin watch the car itself the body because that's the only part that's soft cloth. Press play. You see how it drops down and gets droopy and waves a little bit and then the car starts to shake because it's looking at the collision margin of this pole and when the pole moves away there's no more effect. So what we want to do here is control that so that it starts out solid, it stays solid until it hits the pole and then we'll adjust that on the timeline very simply. Press play and here it goes and boom. We'll pause it right there. Now that's where it's crushed in. And if you open the timeline after you change this to none on the car body itself this is the only thing I'm changing. It's the only thing that was soft cloth. Open the timeline you'll notice there's a recording of the soft cloth here. You can adjust this soft cloth to make it look proper. So I'm going to find out where it actually hits the pole here. Say, let me bring this up just a little bit. Let's say we want it to look like it's crashed right there at that point. What we do on the soft cloth, with it turned off, it's already been recorded because the soft cloth has been baked. We right click and we break it. That gives you two sections now of soft cloth. Then we hit stop all the way to the beginning. This is where the car is still solid if I inch it forward a frame at a time like this. The car is still pretty much solid there. So what I'm going to do again is come in here to the soft cloth. And you can hit plus to zoom in on it if you want to which it's already done pretty much. Here where the line is where it's still pretty much solid, you'll break it again. What it does, it allows it to be soft cloth here. We'll take this center section completely out where it starts to shimmer and shake. And then we press play and the car pretty much solid all the way down. It keeps moving, boom, then it hits. Once it hits, that's the end of it. And it was going to retain what is left over here, hit minus, we'll bring it up, it's going to retain what's here and at the beginning. Everything else in between has been taken out. So that's the way you control soft cloth for retention of solidity. Right here is where it should have hit. So I'm going to take this and move it back to here. 
and we'll press play again this is by frame boom now once it's hit it's crushed and it stays there if you want to control the speed of it you just stretch this out of course using the loop or speed speed in this case would slow it down we can slow the hit down or slow motion hit but we have to bring it back some press play boom now see it crushed too soon so we need to bring it back press play boom still too soon bring it back just a little bit a few frames hit stop and you're controlling the crush so that it looks like it actually hit the pole boom still too soon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase the or decrease this again bring it out still hitting too soon and that's where it holds now if you want it to hold at a certain point like it's crushed to this point and then you want to stop it you just right click and break it again and take this section completely out of it the car will stay crushed at that point and that's how you control your soft claw crush and we'll do it in real time I'll back the camera up and let it finish out because the pillar actually moves away so you can see the crush the whole car is buckled except for where it's pinned and there's your crush and that's it. That's how you control it. Open the timeline after you've created the soft body animation. Open the timeline and cut out the section that's no longer appropriate. And then you can, of course, move it. But if you look at soft cloth, there's only two keys here. This portion and this portion. And that's it. Cricky out.